Dear friends, welcome to Gate Topper Stock. We have with us Mr. Bharat Simha Reddy. He has secured All India Rank 4 in Electronics and Communication in Gate 2024 and also secured All India Rank 10 in Instrumentation Branch. Bharat is passed out from University College of Engineering, Usmania University. He belonged to Hyderabad. So, Bharat, you appeared earlier also and you had in 2021 rank 139 in EC and rank 30 in IN. So, uh, have you joined any PSU? Because on that basis, you could get job public sectors. Yes, yes. But during that time, we had COVID. So, the recruitments were late. So, I got NTPC in 2022, but didn't join that. Okay. So, you have not joined. So what is your target having the rank four? What do you do? What do you plan to do? So my major plan is ESC, sir, as of now. So I was preparing for ESC, especially because I want to take electrical optional. So first I wanted a bit confidence on my optional part. So I thought I'll give ESC first. So I was preparing for ESC. So as I am giving ESC, I also give gate for a practice. Okay. So gate is midland. And not the destination. Yes, yes. Okay. So, how will you utilize the gate score or gate rank this year? So, I will be taking it as a booster for my ESC preparation. Sir. So, for my ESC mains, it would be as a booster because it is giving okay. me pretty good, good confidence. Only. Okay. And what sources you followed in preparation? Any textbooks? So, no textbooks, sir. I used to follow classroom notes and majorly learnings from the test series and PYQs. PYQs. So, and test series in last few months or you practiced around the year? Around the year, sir. Around the year. So, I used test series more for the understanding the concepts in the subject because mm -hmm. in PYQs, they will be touching upon certain topics. There mm -hmm. are many places where the Topics are not yet covered, which are mm. already covered in test series. So I give I gave a lot of weightage to the individual subject-wise test series. Okay. Individual subject-wise test series. Because they are generally heavy, heavy in depth with respect to the subject. So I focus more on that in test series. How many hours you use to study in a day? Roughly because I was working. I used to give around three to four hours a day. Okay. You join any private sector job? Yes, sir. Okay. So three to four hours per day? Yes. yes. Okay. And how, what was your general ranking in test series and was it similar to the actual exam of GATE? Like it used to range very heavily, sir. So sometimes I used to get 40, sometimes 80. Generally, the score was somewhere between 60 to 70. So, rank was below 50 major, major majority of the times. And how many marks you got in the EC branch in GATE? In EC branch, I got 69.67. Okay. So, what should be approach of a student who is a fresher? When should he start the preparation or she start the preparation? From college time or from which semester? Yes. So... The earlier, the better, sir, because generally the concepts will be similar more or less from the first year itself, because EDC networks, this will be already started in the first year itself. So the earlier, the better, I would say. So if they are the call for graduation, so they should be starting right away when they think. It should not be like, I will plan from second year, third year. So start from today. Like whatever the subjects that are overlapping, at least prepare that. Okay. And which subjects you feel you scored maximum best scoring area of EC? So best scoring area of EC will be networks, control systems, digital electronics, and analog electronics. These four are generally like very simpler in terms because they are also common subjects for the other branches. So generally you have a lot of question bank already available. So asking questions out of this, this, the existing scope is very difficult for the examiner. So if you can do well in PYQs and things, 
if you can understand all the concepts i think there you can score cent on cent hmm. okay so you practiced electrical questions also iron questions also yes sir yes you like you yes all common subjects and also aptitude i used to do my aptitude and mathematics all branches like major branches top six branches where the key was already available like solutions are already available okay numerical answer type questions you found more scoring or the mcq you found scoring mcq is a comparatively better sir because generally they like if you see amount of time taken in the exam versus the marks scored it will be very high for mcqs and msqs because you don't need to recheck the answer again and again but whereas in nads you are expected to recheck you left any topics or any subject or you covered in the area topics no no i covered almost all the topics which are not overlapping with psc i didn't give that much preference but i just took a glance of them okay fine so any specific suggestion you want to give to the students that they should do this and they should not do that do and yes. so first thing is whenever they start the preparation they should first complete the engineering mathematics before But, starting any other subject It's because right. if they get that they are already qualified which means yeah. like if you if you can complete mathematics and aptitude which are all, almost overlapping so if you can complete that you will get 28 to 30 marks that is more than the cut off which means you are already beating 80% of the competition right. so start with that then learn the basics like networks controls signals and digital 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 electronics so if you can read these four subjects first your basics will be covered almost you will be reaching around 50 60 if you can do cent on cent so focus on like focus one by one don't read three four subjects at the start take subject by subject understand subject completely then move on to the other subject no okay. subject will take more than 20 days at most right right so thank you very much for joining this talk today and i wish you all the best god bless you thank you sir.